Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Ranking the Albums. Today we're going to take a look at the discography, both studio, live, and posthumous, of Jimi Hendrix. Okay, an artist who has been asked for by many people. He's a favorite of mine. Kind of a complex catalog, right? Because he's the only studio albums you know that he actually recorded during his lifetime was over a span of two years, 1967, 1968. Ton of live albums, both official and unofficial, and then a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of things that were released after he passed away in various forms and iteration. They've still been kind of releasing stuff. So if you don't have some, you probably have others. Okay, I don't have all of them, uh, but a lot of the recordings on the early ones after, that were released after he died have been kind of remixed, remastered, and put on subsequent releases over the decades, so, so much stuff. So what I'm going to do is I decided to tackle all of it within this episode here, and uh, you know, for the live stuff and the posthumous stuff, I don't have everything. Um, but I got a good chunk of things, and I'm going to just kind of rank what I have. You know, with the posthumous stuff, uh, you know, I'm not getting too nitty gritty with ranking stuff because a, a lot of them are similar. I have a lot of similar songs from similar sessions and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm just going to kind of present what I have on that end. But for the studio albums and the uh, the live albums, I'm going to rank them as I like them. You know, for the most part. So let's get started with the studio albums. So again, there's only three. All right. Released in 1967 and 1968. All right, of course, Hendrix at the top of the world. Um, I love all three of the albums a lot. This, for me, not a lot separates them as far as how great they are. But yeah, I think I have them in an order of how I prefer them. So I'm going to go uh, with, and again, not least favorite, okay? Because I don't think that does any of them justice. But the one that, th at the bottom of my list, it's still tremendous, it's still great, is uh, Axis Bold is Love, his second release, 1967. You know, how can you not love this album, right? It's got one of my favorite Hendrix tunes of all time, Spanish Castle Magic on it, you know, Wait Till Tomorrow, Little Wing, it's the, the awesome if six was nine, Castles Made of Sand, you know, I mean, it's... You could just go through the entire song list. It's all great. Uh, produced by Chas Chandler. Um, yeah, I, you know, how can you not love this album? I would not be too surprised if many people had that as their favorite. <laughs> you know, ask me a couple weeks from now, I might say the same thing, right? Uh, next up from 1968, we're going to go with Electric Ladyland. Almost, I almost had this at number one. Uh, you know, this and Are You Experienced, uh, are pro I probably prefer ever so slightly over the second album but they're all like i said they're all three are great uh have you ever been to electric lady land you know of course crosstown traffic uh, voodoo child slight return all on the watchtower uh oh, so many great songs in here burning in the midnight lamp rainy day dream your way G gypsy eyes god little miss strange it's, i mean again so many great songs top to bottom there's the guys right there. You know, uh, so much to be said about Jimi Hendrix and the original experience with uh, Mitch Mitchell and Noel Redding. It, it kind of came out of nowhere, right? With this sound that's combined like uh, electrified blues and psychedelia and this like kind of raw primal heaviness, which again, when you talk about like the roots of hard rock and heavy metal, you, know, you got to point to Hendrix and the experience as well, right? Little bits of funk, right? I mean, a lot of experimentation, especially in the studio. Okay, you know, using all sorts of the every studio trick that he possibly could to get all sorts of weird sounds out of his guitar because he, of course, he was a guitar pioneer, uh, probably one of the most um, notorious guitar pioneers in rock and roll history. You know, utilizing, oh, he played left handed, right? You used a whammy bar, you know, like nobody else had done before on his Fender Stratocaster or whatever guitar he was playing. Okay, he was big in using uh, feedback and effects pedals like fuzz and wah wah, okay? The Univibe, right? The Octavia used all these cool pedals to make all these weird sounds, which most people at the time were like either. 
you know, totally in love with or completely turned off by, right? Because again, this this was this was different. This was a cat who was doing something completely out there that nobody had ever ex experienced before. Even like the real popular guitar players at the time, like you know Clapton and Beck and what have you, were kind of like, whoa, you know, Townsend, whoa, where is this guy coming from? I am intimidated, right? <clears throat> but of course, you know, Hendrix had a long list of his favorite guitar players, right, that he always uh, talked about, like Terry Kath and uh, Billy Gibbons and what have you. Uh, my number one favorite, I, you know, I just, I had a hard time not picking this one, of course. Jimi Hendrix Experience. Are you experienced? You know, a lot of this album might be played out for a lot of people because this was his first, uh, so many, like, kind of, FM radio staples over the year, you know, Purple Haze, Manic Depression, Hey Joe, The Wind Cries Mary, Third Stone from the Sun, Foxy Lady, Stone Free, I mean, so many great songs, Red House, but then you got, you know, Highway Child, uh, you know, Title Track, I Don't Live Today, what a great song that is, uh, May This Be Love, Love or Confusion, great song, I mean, you know, top to bottom, Can You See Me, just great album, psychedelic, heavy, bluesy, way ahead of its time way way ahead of its time so again you can almost say you can't just rank these because they're all equally great right so I, I put them in an order just for the purposes of the show but uh i think it's safe to say that all three albums from the original Jimi hendrix experience are absolute drop dead stone cold classics okay and uh nothing more to be said about them right on to the live stuff all right so i've got here again there's tons of live stuff both uh, officially released uh, by the Hendrix family or, you know, Dagger Records or originally back in the day, right? Uh, there's lots of stuff that are kind of like bootleggy things that you can pick up. I have some of those as well. I'm going to show them all. Uh, you know, again, I'm going to kind of rank them in somewhat of an order here, but they were all really cool. Some sound quality better than others, right? Obviously, some performances better than others, but <clears throat> any Hendrix is great Hendrix in my opinion. So, Let's see what we got here. All right, here we got the, the New York Sessions, all right, which uh, was recorded at the Scene Club, New York City, 1968. This has uh, got Jimmy and Johnny Winter and Randy Hobbs, Randy Z, Jim Morrison, Buddy Miles. Okay, this is sloppy. This is uh, a bunch of drunk guys just having a jam session. Uh, I don't listen to this too often. I, I bought this mainly for the curiosity more than anything else and hearing, you know... Hendrix up there with uh, Johnny Winter and, uh, you know, Jim Morrison kind of drunkily screaming in the background and what have you. Uh, you know, it's, as a curiosity piece, worth having, I guess, but worth listening to on a regular basis? Eh, not so much. All right, I didn't get this too long ago. This is uh, his last ever recorded performance uh, before he passed away. The Open Air Love and Peace in Self Fairmont, Germany from uh this is a festival september 4th 5th and 6th 1970 again the, the weekend right before uh, hendrix passed away <clears throat> pretty good performance some may say a uh, slightly stronger performance than the isle of white festival which was a couple days before it uh i don't know about that i th i think the isle of white performance obviously is a better recording this is not a great recording but it's a pretty good performance uh you know it's recorded from uh september 6th that's the day that uh, hendrix played you know, you got Killing Floor, Spanish Castle Magic, All on the Watchtower, Hey Joe, Hey Baby, New Rising Sun. I'm a big fan of that song. Uh, Message to Love, Foxy Lady, Red House, Easy Rider, Freedom, Room Full of Mirrors, Purple Haze, and Voodoo Child, Slight Return. You know, good performance. Not a great uh, audio document. But again, I think Dagger Records is doing a nice job of releasing some stuff that maybe I think they go by the... Uh, the thought process that, you know, if Hendrix were alive, he might not have released that stuff, but in honor of the fans who want to hear more music from the Hendrix vaults, we're going to put some of this stuff out. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad they did because there's some good stuff on there. Uh, same thing here. This is uh, live in Cologne. Okay, this was recorded January 13th, 1969 at Sport Hall, Cologne, Germany. Again, another uh, Dagger release. Not great sound quality, but pretty good performance. All right. Come on, baby. Let the good times roll. We got Foxy Lady, Red House, Voodoo Child, Slight Return, Fire, Spanish Castle Magic, Hey Joe, Sunshine of Your Love, Star Spangled Banner, and Purple Haze. Finishing it all off. Recorded in mono. Pretty good. Again, not great quality, but if you 
kind of have to have more and more and more Hendrix. Get as much as you can. I would recommend that. Uh, here's a little something I got. This is not an official release by any means, uh, but you can get this out there. So the famous Rainbow Bridge concert uh, recorded in uh, Maui, Hawaii, July 30th, 1970 at the Haleakala, Haleakala Crater. Okay, they actually attempted to make a movie out of this. If you've ever seen clips from the movie, it's just kind of weird. But the, I think the performance of the band is pretty damn cool. Okay, of course, this is uh, Jimmy with uh, Billy Cox and Mitch Mitchell on drums. You got two shows here. Um, a lot of, uh, he tried to mix in a lot of the newer stuff with some classics on here. So the early show, you got Lover Man, Hey Baby, New Rising Sun, In From the Storm. Really cool performance of that. Uh, Message to Love, Foxy Lady, Hear My Train of Coming, Voodoo Child, Fire, and Purple Haze. And on the second, the late show, Dolly Dagger, a little instrumental guitar bit, Easy Rider, Red House, Freedom, Jam Back at the House, and Land of the New Rising Sun. Uh, this is actually pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I think the recording is pretty decent. I think it's a pretty good performance, uh, despite the weirdness. Like, if you know anything about this, they recorded it kind of like on a hilltop, out in the grass. Uh, in Hawaii by the crater and it's just a pretty small crowd and they got the camera crews there and everything like that so it's just a little bizarre but the band was was playing pretty damn well so I dig that here's a great performance uh, again a not so great audio um, recording but uh, live at the Oakland Coliseum okay hold on let me see if I can get when this was recorded here uh, April 27 1969 okay Another Dagger Records release. Two disc set. Fire, Hey Joe, Spanish Castle Magic, Here My Train of Coming, Sunshine of Your Love, Red House, 13 Minutes and Change, Foxy Lady, 10 Minutes and Change. A lot of jamming on this one. Little Star Spangled Banner, Purple Haze, and a near 20 minute long Voodoo Child Slight Return. A uh, lot of guitar histrionics going on here. Uh, again, not the greatest recording ever, but pretty good but a very primal performance with lots of extended jams and guitar solos. So if you like that sort of thing, this is the one to seek out. All right, here we got the uh, Miami Pop Festival recording. Okay, May 18th, 1968. I dig this. This came out uh, not that, that long ago, right? Early 2000s from the Experience Hendrix Foundation. Uh, hey Joe, Foxy Lady, Tax Free, Fire, Hear My Train of Coming, I Don't Live Today, Red House, Purple Haze, uh, as well as some alternate show performances from Fire and Foxy Lady. Good stuff. Pretty strong, pretty strong set from the band. I think this is pretty strong too. I know some people kind of uh, come down on this performance because I don't, you know, it was Hendrix right at the end of his life. Uh, maybe not his best evening overall uh, in front of an enormous crowd at the Isle of Wight, but I still think it's a pretty good show. Um, Blue Wild Angel, two disc set live at the Isle of Wight Festival. Okay, also again right right before, what about a week before he passed away? Uh, you know, a lot of rambling going on, you know, with the crowd. Um, I think he was having a, you know, he went on really late. I think he was just having a hard time not, not seeing everybody in such a vast crowd and you know, maybe he was on something that night, whatever. There's all sorts of stuff that you can read about. But uh, I still think a pretty good performance, some great guitar work, and a nice selection of material. You know, we got uh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Of course, he was a Beatles fan, right? You got uh, Spanish Castle Magic, which I think is great on here. All on the Watchtower, also very good. Uh, a pretty spirited machine gun, all right? Not so much uh, Band of Gypsies machine gun worthy, but still really good. Lover Man, Freedom, Red House, Dolly Dagger. Always like to see Dolly Dagger in the set. Uh, Midnight Lightning, Foxy Lady, Message to Love, Hey Baby, New Rising Sun, which I think is very excellent on here. Uh, Easy Rider is great on here as well. Killer guitar solo. Uh, Purple Haze, a lengthy voodoo child, slight return, and an in from the storm, which is a really nice inclusion, right? Didn't play that all the time. So nice. I dig this. So here you can get this. Actually, there was a box set. I forget the name of the box set that came out a number of years ago that had this included in there. It's not sold separately, but I was able to buy it from someone separately, okay, who was selling off all the pieces of the box set. But this is a uh, Jimi Hendrix, the LA Forum concert. This was, I believe, disc four, right? And this was recorded. Hold on, let me see if I can get you that information here. Uh, what are the dates of this? April 26th, 
1969. Okay. Uh, a very good set, very strong set, good recording here. You got uh, Tax Free, Red House, Spanish Castle Magic, Star Spangled Banner, Purple Haze, I Don't Live Today, and a medley, nice lengthy voodoo child, Sunshine of Your Love, produced by none other than Bruce Gary. You know that name, right? Cool to have. Uh, I had long heard that that was uh, one of a very strong performance from that time period. So I went looking to see if that was available anywhere. It's like, oh, they released it in the bo in a box set. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if anybody's selling that. Someone was, and now I have it. All right, so here we got a couple of releases. So back in, um, oh god, when was when was the recordings of these? He played a historic run at Winterland. Okay, of course the famous club out in california okay the weekend of october 10th 1968 all right he played a uh, couple shows all of which were recorded you can get these in various different formats okay uh, i have two different ones i have the original live at winterland which comprises performances from those couple of nights all right and then i also picked up not long ago uh, Jimi hendrix experience winterland okay which has additional performances from those couple of nights I believe that there is a full collection that has all the recordings, if I'm not mistaken. All right. But this is, you know, from all intents and purposes, probably a good chunk of what was played. And, you know, you got uh, all sorts of different stuff here. You got uh, Fire, Manic Depression, Sunshine of Your Love, Spanish Castle Magic, Red House, Killing Floor, Tax Free, Foxy Lady, Hey Joe, Purple Haze, Wild Thing. And then on the other one, you got uh, Fire, Foxy Lady, Like a Rolling Stone, Hey Joe, Hear My Train of Coming, Sunshine of Your Love. Little Wing, Are You Experienced, Manic Depression, Voodoo Child, Slight Return, and Purple Haze. So, again, some overlap with songs, but these are actually different performances on both of these discs. And Stellar. Stellar, a very good night for the experience. Very good night. As is this one. Again, this is another uh, not official release. This is uh, basically a book, a boot, a book, a book, a book. Um, he played, well, they played, I should say, a... Uh, Big performance at the Royal Albert Hall, okay, which was filmed and going to be released as a movie, which never officially was, okay, right? To my, I don't think that was ever officially released. They were going to release the soundtrack, the live album. That was never officially released, so it just kind of sat in the vaults and still sitting in the vaults. But you can, however, go online and find these things. So I have both the video in a bootleg DVD as well as the CD, which is called The Jimi Hendrix Experience. The Last Experience, that's the Royal Albert Hall, of course. Three discs here, okay. A, a, if you've never, you know, go online, look up Jimi Hendrix live at the Royal Albert Hall. Uh, you can watch that performance. It's pretty damn good. Uh, I wish they would just get their act together and put it out officially. But, uh, you know, a lot of great songs on here. Lover Man, Stone Free, Getting My Heart Back Together Again, I Don't Live Today, Red House, Foxy Lady, Sunshine of Your Love, Bleeding Heart. All right, Fire, Little Wing, Voodoo Child, Room Full of Mirrors, Purple Haze, Wild Things, Star Spangled Banner, Smashing of the Amps, all sorts of craziness here. You get sound check recordings here. You got additional recordings, all sorts of stuff. Spanish Castle Magic, Sunshine of Your Love, you know, all sorts of stuff. Tax free. A lot of content on here if you can find this one. Like I said, uh, I just kind of came across this. Um, charlie licensing apps i don't know I, I found this you know you can find anything on the internet right just do a google search people selling stuff on ebay all the time so very good performance historic performance i'm sure it must be a thrill for him playing at the royal Albert hall and if i remember correctly that's the show where dave mason was it dave mason or was it chris wood i don't remember one of the traffic guys came out and uh, played with them yeah i think it was uh Chris Wood, Jim Capaldi, I don't know, one of those guys, it was not Steve Wynn, but one of the other three guys actually came out and played with them on a song or two at that performance, if I remember correctly. Uh, next up, I'm going to go with uh, May 30th, 1970, uh, Live at Berkeley. So as a kid, I grew up, you know, watching, you remember when we first got cable TV back in the late 70s, I remember staying up late one night and watching on, I guess it was the USA Network or something, they used to show like concerts every now and then, like concert recordings, and I, I remember watching the Live at Berkeley film, late one Friday night on uh, cable TV and thinking, holy moly, that is great. Uh, and of course, they later, you can get that on video and they've also released that on CD here. This is a, a fantastic performance uh, from the second show, 
Okay, the evening show, 10 p.m. Saturday, May 30th. Uh, you got Pass It On, Straight Ahead, a fantastic song that, you know, not on a lot of these live albums, so especially on, it's a later song, appears on this one and also on uh, another one that I'm going to talk about next. Um, hey Baby, New Rising Sun, okay, Lover Man, Stone Free, Hey Joe, I Don't Live Today, Machine Gun, Foxy Lady, Star Spangled Banner, Purple Haze and Voodoo Child, okay, um, some of you who have watched the film might remember that a, a good chunk of the performances filmed were during the afternoon, the early show, all right, because he also did a sterling rendition of uh, Johnny Be Good, as well as I uh, Hear My Train of Coming, which are not on here. So maybe one of these days we'll get like a full Berkeley performance, but uh, this is, uh, if you've seen the movie, that's the outfit he was wearing, right? So pretty cool. Next up, I'm going to go with uh, Freedom at the Atlanta Pop Festival. This was only released a couple years ago. I actually dig this quite a bit. The Blu-ray is fantastic too. Or do I have it on DVD? DVD, Blu-ray, whatever it is, I don't remember. Uh, two discs here, a pretty crazy good set, I think. Uh, it sounds fantastic. Uh, you got Fire, Lover Man, Spanish Castle Magic, Red House, Room Full of Mirrors, Hear My Train of Coming, which is sensational on here. Fantastic guitar solo and Message to Love, All on the Watchtower, Freedom, Foxy Lady, Purple Haze, Hey Joe, Voodoo Child, Slight Return, Stone Free, Star Spangled Banner, and Straight Ahead, finishing it off with, which of course is the same as the uh, Pass It On, Straight Ahead that I spoke about from the uh, Berkeley show. Dynamite, dynamite stuff. Um, and I'm, a, this, you know, I'm amazed that they took them this long to release this. But it's a fantastic performance. I dig it a lot. All right. You know... The top three here, they're all legendary to me, but I think I have them in the order that I kind of dig them. Uh, Jimi Hendrix experience live at Monterey. You know, this was basically the uh, performance that really put him on the map, at least here in the States. Um, great set. Band, you know, very young and just uh, digging the scene and the stage that they're on after playing in, in London quite a bit in the months preceding it. They come over here in front of, you know, 50,000 people or whatever or 20,000 people, whatever it was, at Monterey, amongst all these other great acts, and basically uh, just kind of killed it, right? Just killed it, absolutely killed it. They were they were the band that everybody was talking about uh, after here between them and Janis Joplin. That's what was on everybody's mind. And, of course, you know, the, the Who had a great set, too, smashing things up and everything like that. But then, of course, Hendrix and the Experience come on, lighting his guitar on fire, just amazing. Got Killing Floor on here, Foxy Lady, Like a Rolling Stone, Rock Me Baby, Hey Joe, Can You See Me, the Wind Cries Mary, Purple Haze, and of course Wild Thing, which is where all the madness ensued at the end. And that was the beginning of the Jimi Hendrix experience being major, major players. A great live recording. <clears throat> great live recording. Let me grab a drinky poo here. Hold on as we're 22 minutes into this. All righty. All right, so next up, I'm going to do these two together because, you know, they quite frankly go together. Um... And, you know, there's probably a lot of people that are going to rank this number one. It's pretty damn close between this and my number one. I think my number one I, I love the most because of its a kind of an emotional attachment. But this is like centimeters behind it. Uh, we're going to go with Band of Gypsies. And while we're talking about that, I might as well talk about uh, the great uh, song for Songs for Groovy Children. All right. Which is the recent box that just came out in 2019, which has, what, 95% or so of all the performances from that weekend of music at the great Fillmore East as uh, the Hendrix Hendrix and company as the band of Gypsy Gyp, band of Gypsies band of Gypsies helped bring in 1970 we all know this well right Buddy Miles Billy Cox Jimi Hendrix all new outfit doing their kind of like groovy funk thing all right this is a little different less psychedelia more grooves more blues who knows a legendary machine gun, all right? One of my favorite songs of all time. Probably the, contains the best guitar solo of all time, in my opinion. Uh, changes, all right? Power to Love, Message of Love, and We Gotta Live Together. Really strong, strong album. Full of grooves. Uh, you know, very different for the Hendrix, for Jimi Hendrix, uh, compared to all the stuff we would hear or we had heard before then, all right? Uh, here you've got the whole kit and caboodle, you know, for the most part. Great stuff. Uh, you know, played a lot of newer tracks they were working on during that weekend. F you know, fitted in with some old classics, but, you know, Jimmy was trying to get away from the, the staples and do some new stuff. He really wanted to kind of move into new areas, so this was his start of doing that. But, of course, it's hard not to go play 
you know, Voodoo Child and Purple Haze and, you know, Foxy Lady and Fire and all that kind of stuff. So kind of mixed it up well this weekend. Fantastic sounding recordings. Uh, just uh, amazing, amazing performances. Would be my number one, but I have a real close tie to the Live at Woodstock, right? Again, I know there's people out there who are, who are going to disagree here, and that's totally cool. You know, you just... You don't have to have the same favorite as mine, all right? Uh, for me, yes, this is a little on the sloppy side. Yes, this band that he put together for this show was put together really quickly, not a lot of rehearsal time. Um, yes, it's at the end of the chaotic Woodstock Festival, right? Uh, but, man, there's just something, to me, there's just something about this performance. This is just Hendrix absolutely unhinged, going off into uncharted waters, uh, I love his guitar sound on here. You know, here is at the apex of him utilizing all these new effects boxes. You know, so he's got using the wah-wah and the Octavia and the Univibe and the fuzz pedal to perfection. All sorts of great guitar experimentation going on here. And I think his his lead playing on this is just so incredible. And it just sounds so immense. And, of course, he's on the big, you know, the, the big Woodstock stage, right, in front of all those people. Although not all those people, by the time he played, only a fraction were left. But um, but anyway, uh, Message to Love is on here. You got Hear My Train of Coming, which is great. Spanish Castle Magic, I love on here. Red House, Lover Man, Foxy Lady, Jam Back at the House. This to my personal favorite version of Isabella. You got Fire, you got Voodoo Child, Slight Return, 13 Minutes and Change. Lots of great improvisation going there. Star Spangled Banner, which of course is legendary. Everybody knows this version of the Star Spangled Banner, which leads into a supercharged Purple Haze, which then leads into, like, what, how many, uh, almost 10 minutes of uh, Jimi Hendrix guitar explorations, right? You got the Woodstock improvisation and Villanova Junction. Savage then turns into Beauty. It's just incredible. And then finishing it off uh, almost anticlimactically with Hey Joe, right? So, I don't know. I just, for me, I'm a huge fan of Jimmy's performance at Woodstock. Like I said, I know there's people who are not as crazy about it, and that's totally cool, right? We don't have to like all the same things. I'm not saying that that's the best performance by Hendrix. It's just my personal favorite. Uh, as far as the Postuma stuff, like I said, there's, there's so much stuff out there. There's so much stuff out there. So, you know, initially they were releasing things called, you know, Cry Love and Rainbow Bridge and Crash Landing and War Heroes and all that kind of stuff uh, with a lot of those songs that he was working on before he died. They would later go re-release and re-release and re-release albums, taking some of those songs, remixing them, remastering them, all that kind of stuff. So I don't have the, a lot of those early ones, right? Because a lot of those are like out of print. I mean, you can find them, but they, they started kind of like rehashing those releases with different titles and re-releasing them, you know, the Hendrix Foundation. So, and, uh, and of course, I got some uh, Dagger record stuff as well. So uh, here's one I picked up recently. It's called uh, Hendrix Burning Desire. So these are basically like a lot of jams in the studio that the uh, Jimmy and the guys were working on that later became full flesh songs. And here you can kind of hear a lot of them instrumentally just kind of locking in on some of these riffs and rhythms for, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes and stuff. So you got early renditions of Isabella on here, Easy Rider, okay, the MLK Jam. You got Cherokee Mist, Astro Man, uh, Record Plant Two Times, Villanova Junction Blues, Burning Desire. Stepping Stone, more Villanova Junction Blues, and Slow Time Blues. Again, just it's all basically studio jams. Mostly instrumental, a little bit of scatting in there, a little bit of vocals in here, but mostly it's just the guys trying to work on some of these things that will later become, you know, full-fledged songs. And you can hear, like, certain passages of different songs being kind of combined together. So if you're really kind of interested to hear, like, the early beginnings of some of those songs that we would later know that were released posthumously, here, you check these out. I got another one coming up, too. Uh, well worth well worth investigating. These are not expensive. You can get these for, like, I don't know, $10, $12, $13 or whatever. Uh, here we're going to go with uh, Both Sides of the Sky. And this came out, what, in 2018? I think this is, if I'm not mistaken, is this the most recent one? Kind of lose track with these after a while. I think so. Uh, again, different versions and mixes of some stuff we'd already heard before. But any new Hendrix is good Hendrix, right? I always say. So here, you know, you got uh, Manish Boy, Lover Man, Hear My Train to Come and Step in Stone, $20 Fine, Power of Soul, Jungle, Things I Used to Do, Georgia Blues, Sweet Angel, Woodstock, 
send my love to, to Linda and Cherokee Mist. So some a lot of those titles might not be familiar to you. But again, you'll hear, you know, these are kind of early workings of some things and you'll hear some similarities to other songs and whatnot. Very cool. You know, again, uh, any Hendrix is good Hendrix, right? Uh, what else? Next up, uh, I'm going to go with People, Hell, and Angels, which I believe is the one that came out before that last one. Again, if I'm not mistaken, 2013. So it seems like every couple of years we get something. Again, you know, some uh, similar tracks. Earth Blues, Somewhere, Hear My Train of Coming, Bleeding Heart, Let Me Love You, Isabella. Easy Blues, Crash Landing, Inside Out, Hey Gypsy Boy, Mojo Man, Villanova Junction Blues, Easy Rider, MLK Jam, Captain Coconut. It's cool stuff, right? Because again, uh, Jimmy was into experimenting and taking a lot of these riffs and ideas and kind of uh, doing different things with them. So he was working on so much stuff, right? And, you know, they had all these tracks all over the place that, you know, Eddie Kramer's been busy kind of piecing things together and what have you. So pretty, pretty cool. All right, here's another one from the, uh, the Dagger Records, folks. Um, this is called Morning Symphony Ideas. I dig this one a lot. This is, again, ideas that Jimmy and the guys were working on. Long, very cool jams on here. Uh, Keep on Groovin', Jungle, Room Full of Mirrors, Straddle Strut, Scorpio Woman, and Acoustic Demo. All right. Eddie Kramer kind of taking all this stuff and just kind of, you know, trying to piece some things together. But really cool studio jams on here. Really good grooves and guitar work. It's a lot of fun to listen to. Again, not an everyday Hendrix listen, but for, you know, if you just want to kind of want to maybe like take your self and put it in the studio with Jimmy and the guys just jamming away to some of these stuff, some of these songs they're working on. Pretty cool experience. <clears throat> All right, Valley and Neptune. This was released in 2010. Another cool release. All right, Stone Free, Valleys and Neptune, Bleeding Heart, Hear My Train of Company, Mr. Bad Luck. Sunshine of Your Love, Lover Man, Ships Passing Through the Night, Fire, Red House, Lullaby for the Summer, and Crying Blue Rain. Definitely worth getting. And here's one that came out a while back. Uh, this came out in the 90s. Uh, I always kind of dug this a lot. Voodoo Soup. All right. A lot of similarities here. New Rising Sun, Belly Button Window, Stepping Stone, Freedom Angel, Room Full of Mirrors, Midnight. Midnight's great. Killer. Uh, Nightbird Flying, Drifting, Easy Rider, Pally Gap. Okay, Let's, you hear that come up every now and then. Message to Love, Peace in Mississippi and In from the Storm. Again, different takes, different versions, early workings, all that sort of thing. South Saturn Delta, this was uh, 2011. Look Over Yonder, Little Wing, okay. Here he comes, Lover Man, South Saturn Delta. Power Soul, Message to the Universe, Tax Free, All on the Watchtower. Uh, you know, Pally Gap again, Drifters Escape, Midnight Lightning, Midnight Again, Sweet Angel, Stars That Play with Laughing Sam's Dice, all sorts of stuff. Very cool release, as all these are, if you're a, kind of a Hendrix enthusiast. Uh, here's another one from the 90s, very cool one, Jimi Hendrix Blues. This is like all sorts of blues rarities and things. Um, if you love Hendrix's blues playing, and he was a terrific blues player, uh, you'll definitely want to get this. Um, 1994 came out. This was the official MCA release. You got an acoustic version of Here My Train of Coming. You got Born Under a Bad Sign. You got Red House, Catfish Blues, Voodoo Child Blues, Manish Boy, Once I Had a Woman, Bleeding Heart, Jelly 292, Electric Church, Red House, and then an electric bluesy version of Here My Train of Coming, about nearly 13 minutes in length. Top notch. But my favorite, probably, I guess, like I said, I like all these. It's hard to kind of pick a favorite among these. But First Rays of the New Rising Sun. Yeah, I dig this one. And again, this was from 2010. They were pumping stuff out there for a couple of years. Uh, this has Freedom, and another great version of Isabella, Nightbird Flying Angel, Room Full of Mirrors, Dolly Dagger, very good Dolly Dagger, Easy Rider, Drifting, Beginning, Stepping Stone, My Friend, Straight Ahead, Killer Straight Ahead, uh, My Baby, New Rising Sun, yeah, it might be one of my favorite versions of that of that song, studio-wise, although there's some live versions I really dig a lot, Earth Blues, 
Astro Man, In From The Storm, and Belly Button Woman. And again, some of this stuff has was previously released on out-of-print releases from years gone by. So that's kind of what they've been doing with the... Uh, the Postuma stuff for Hendrix. You know, they, they put out a lot of stuff shortly after he died throughout the early mid part of the 70s, and then that kind of stopped. And then as those things went out of print, they started kind of remixing, remastering, repackaging them. All right. So a lot of that kind of same material repeated over and over and over again. So there's probably some of you who were Hendrix fans back in, in the late 60s, early 70s, and probably have all those original albums, you know, like Cry of Love, Crash Landing, and Rainbow Bridge and all that kind of stuff. So you're probably like, I don't really need all these because I have kind of have them all. You know, and it, you do and you don't, right? Because if they've done tweaking to them, uh, they've remixed some of that stuff. There's additional material that's come out. So it just seems like the never-ending vault of Jimi Hendrix is constantly being open, right? And if you're a fan, any Hendrix is a good thing. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for joining, guys, in this lengthy 35-minute uh, ranking the albums of Jimi Hendrix. And I'm just going to call this one ranking the albums because we kind of took a little bit of a look at almost everything, right? So uh, curious to see what some of your favorites are from all of this, from this trio of releases, you know, Studio Live and Postuma stuff. So uh, list them in the comments below, and uh, let's get the Hendrix discussion going, right? So this is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we are on YouTube all the damn time. So what's coming up, you might ask? Uh, all sorts of things happening. So I think Jack Toledano and I are getting together tonight to do the Iced Earth uh, Top 10 Song Show. This weekend, I'm getting together with Steve Keeler from Rock Fantasy, as well as uh, Metal Blade Records founder Brian Slater. Legal to do a uh, top 10 songs of Amon Amarth. So if you're an extreme metal fan and you like that band quite a bit, and I know a lot of people do, that's coming this weekend. And uh, I'm hoping to get to Stevie Ray Vaughan this week as well. And um, God, I got a lot on my list, so uh, there's a lot coming. So just stay tuned for it all, right? Thanks again, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.